The Planet of the Apes, the classic original sci-fi film starring Charlton Heston, released back in 1968, is still a powerful and entertaining movie today, 56 years later. In fact, in 1968, we saw two science fiction films appearing within a couple of months of each other, Stanley Kubrick's mystical tale of technological progress and spiritual rebirth, and Franklin J. Schaffner's apocalyptic satirical fable, Planet of the Apes. These two groundbreaking films have since had a major influence on filmmakers and sci-fi enthusiasts in the decades that have followed. The Planet of the Apes has recently been rebooted by the excellent Matt Reeves trilogy. But nothing can compare to the first film and the extensive makeup and prosthetics created by Oscar winner John Chambers that still look impressive today in an age where digital and CGI is omnipresent. And nothing can compare to the reaction of when this film was first released in 1968. Very much like 2001, A Space Odyssey, it blew people's minds, but in a much more visceral and immediate way. As one moviegoer reported back in 1968, they stated when Charlton Heston finally spoke, Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. The theatre erupted into cheering and yelling. I've never seen anything like it before or since. Wow, what a thriller that movie was when it came out. Breathtaking. And I would add, probably the greatest reveal at the end since Citizen Kane. The movie's original poster here in one sheet form, and was okay, obviously for such an unusual film release, they decided to not go for an arty look. They clearly wanted to portray the film characters, showcase the makeup and prosthetics and the star of the film, Charlton Heston. It also features an illustration of a group of caged humans in the foreground of the picture. All of this is in black and white against a bright yellow background. It is a bit cluttered, but it is understandable that the film producers and company wanted to show what the film was about to an audience that hadn't quite seen anything like this before. I actually prefer some of the European posters for the film's 1968 release, particularly this Polish one, which, unlike the crowded imagery of the original US release, this European design is far more simple and minimal, and also somewhat abstract. In it, we see a close-up of the face of an ape. It is staring quite intently. The face of the ape is within a circle. That circle, I presume, is referencing a planet. It is the planet of the apes, after all. The ape and the planet are green in colour. Green represents the colour of nature. And of course, we know that it is the apes that continue to live on the planet after man destroyed themselves. It is in the 1968 original that we find that humanity's end came at their own hands, via atomic war. The green contrasts well with the purple background to create a dynamic image, and the iconic, destroyed Statue of Liberty hangs there at the side. So looking at these two posters, which one do you think works best? Either way, the original 1968 is one of the greatest sci-fi films of all time. The film creates an inverted upside-down world, a world where the apes rule and humans are considered a plague, to be captured, experimented on and exterminated, which at first, when watching, we don't really understand why the apes treat the humans so badly. But the answer to that is revealed at the end, when we see Taylor falling to his knees in despair, cursing humanity for destroying the world, which I believe is one of the best endings in cinema history. Thanks for listening.